Thank you. I'm actually I'm super excited to be up here. Um, I'm actually mostly excited about the microphone and speakers. Uh, no one wants to talk to me since I went vegan a few months ago, and with the microphone, I have a captive audience. Um, I actually went vegan a couple months back because I was just so tired of being called fun and unpretentious. <laughs> it just wasn't worth it. Um, you, you might see that I'm not wearing any makeup or nail polish and think that maybe it's a crunchy granola statement about natural beauty. It's actually because I hate getting manicures. Um, I feel like if you're going to be sitting making small talk with someone holding hands for 20 minutes, you should at least have a shot at getting laid. <laughs> I'm really enjoying writing. This is uh, my first time writing comedy. I've tried writing songs before though, and I'm just I'm too optimistic for it. It's it is really a problem. No one wants to listen to a breakup song called "It's Over," but really I'm the better person for it. <laughs> I just quit working retail, uh, which was fun, kind of. <laughs> um, but I learned a lot of important life lessons, and the biggest one from retail, if people think you're incompetent, they won't give you anything to do. It's wonderful. <laughs> um, I do live here in Lafayette. I've got two roommates, actually. It's my first time living with roommates, so it's kind of a learning experience. Uh, for example, this past week, I've learned that my absolute favorite thing to do before I get in the shower is clean someone else's hair out of the drain. <laughs> Uh, my mom actually just visited. I, I'm originally from New York, so she flew in from Long Island and yeah. came out for the weekend. <laughs> and, <laughs> she, uh, my mom's kind of, um, how what's the word for it? Um, insane? <laughs> um, like, I, I really wish I had a video of her, just so when anyone called me crazy, I could you know, show the video and say, look, I'm trying, it's an improvement, okay? <laughs> Um, so, you know, my mom came out, and as soon as she flew back and went back to work, she told me that she told all her coworkers that during her trip she got to meet her grandkittens. Um, <laughs> so that mom, I, let, let's meet the degree in law first, then we can talk. <laughs> um, so, I, I mean, I am, I really am kind of neurotic. As a child, when I wrote in my diaries, I wrote um, in mirror French. So I wrote in the French language, but from right to left, so that you'd have to hold it up to a mirror to <laughs> decipher it. Um, the only problem was I was a child and my French vocabulary was somewhat limited. Um, so I have several boxes in my attic now of old diaries wherein I rhapsodized about crepes. <laughs> uh, Fundy opened up a whole new world for me. It was wonderful. <laughs> I did listen to my mom, though. I, I tried online dating, and um, it was... It, it didn't work out so well. <laughs> um, so I thought, you know what, maybe it's me. Maybe I need to work on myself. You know, I need to get to know myself, get to know what I want out of life, find out what I want in my future, which would have worked a whole lot better if myself was just a little bit better in bed. <laughs> uh, as it turns out, I'm a little bit of a one-trick pony, or rabbit, I suppose, if you prefer. <laughs> That's all I have, thank you. <laughs> Are we excited to be here? I'm excited! We're excited! So, I am with Ad Liberation, and we are the final act of the night. Thank you all so much for coming from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, thanks for sticking it out. So, tonight we are going to finish up with my group, Ad Liberation. So, let's start it out to get them up here. Let's go! I'm Matt. Katie. Tim. I'm Rachel. I'm Mike. So we are at Liberation, and to get us started, we are going to play a game called Naive Countdown. Now, in this game, we are going to have two players, Matt and Katie, exit the stage. Oh, where did okay. Okay. Bye. Wait. Bye. Yes. Bye. Hold on. This is my first time hosting. Please bear with me. So now we are going to have Rachel and Mike play out a scene in one minute. After that one minute scene, they're going to do the same scene in 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds, they're going to do the same scene in 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, we're going to call back in Katie and Matt, and they're going to watch the scene in seven seconds. After that, Katie and Matt are going to try to recreate the one minute scene based off of seven seconds. So it should be really interesting. And we're going to get the scene started with a suggestion. 
And so since it's so close to Halloween, and since this is all for the kids, I need a suggestion of your most irrational childhood fear. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Sniper rat. Okay. My father. Um, <laughs> let's go with diaper rash. All right, take it away. <laughs> Jimmy, what's going on over there? God, oh, I just... This is a... I know I'm 42, but... I, What's the adult equivalent of diaper rash? Do you wear diapers? No, I... It hurts. <laughs> I don't even want to sit down. Ow! Hmm. Hmm. I guess I could ask to look at it, but I'm a bit afraid to... I think... I don't think our relationship is at that level yet. We're at, we're at the very specific level of... I can tell you about my diaper rash, but I can't show you my diaper rash. So when do we get to that level? Oh, is that, do you want to do this right now? Yes, I want to do okay. it right now. Okay, because I just, I feel it's a little unfair because this is a sit down conversation <laughs> that'll last several hours and I can't do it. Okay, that. Dad, see, one minute. All right, 60, 30 seconds, go. Oh, Jimmy, what's going on there? I just, I just what's the, Embarrassing. What's the adult equivalent of diaper rash? You wear diapers? No, I just. That's weird. It hurts. I don't. I don't Ow. get what you're doing. I, can I look at it? I mean. No, oh no, I don't think we are at that. We're at the level where I can tell you about my adult diaper rash, but I can't show you my, adi my adult. I think. Oh no! It wasn't enough. Go in 50 seconds. Touch down. Oh, diaper rash. Uh, what? You wear diapers? No, I don't wear diapers. Uh, can I see it? We're at the level of our relationship where I can't, she, she can't show you my diaper rash. Well, when are we gonna we're gonna see it? Oh, you wanna do this right now? Okay, you're 15 seconds. Let's call back in Katie and Matt. Come on, guys, where are they? Katie! Katie and Matt! Katie and Matt! Katie and Matt! Katie and Matt. Okay, 16, 7 seconds. Go. It hurts. You wear diapers? No, I don't. I, I can show you my diaper rash. I can't. I can talk about it. Okay, I There's some nice diapers you're wearing. Thanks for trying out something new. <laughs> you ready for the big dance? Oh, it's always good to prepare. Yeah, I want to make a big debut. And in case you're ready. Uh-huh. Matches my garter. I didn't notice that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You should probably get diaper rash. Oh, you think? Maybe. Well, that wouldn't make the dance very fun. Well, what if? How do I fix that? I'm thinking... I just got to... I hope those are clean. Same. <laughs> Alright, so for our next game we're going to do a long form, which is when we play out a full long scene based off of one suggestion. Now during the scene we're going to enhance it a little bit with these things called calls. The first call is called Oscar winning moment where the character or person who's acting gets really, really emotional and super dramatic. The next call is called Show Me That, where you get to see what's actually going on. The next call is called Inner Monologue, where you get to hear what the actor's really thinking. The final call is New Choice, which is my personal favorite, where we have to think of something different and quick on our feet. So, we're going to use these calls throughout the scene, but you can too with the help of these little flying discs. So when you get this little flying disc, you hold it up, you shout it out really loud, inner monologue, and then we will step forward and do whatever it says. So, I'm gonna fling these, be careful, fling them there. It kind of spiraled a little, I'll try again. You guys can pick it up. Oh, and pass it around, pass it around to everybody, okay? Good job. All right, so to get our scene started, where, do you guys, did everyone get a paddle? Everyone's good? All right. So to get our scene started, we're going to build a character. So can I get a volunteer up here to build a character? Start us off. Rachel. So, what is Rachel's character's name? Tony Soprano. Tony Soprano. Okay. Now, we need an adjective for Tony Soprano. Something to describe. Nikki. Nikki. 
Nipple. Nipple. Nipple Tony Soprano. Nipple. So what does Nipple Tony Soprano do? What's his job? Sit on the nipple. He's a dancer. Okay, so Tony Soprano, the nimble dancer, is going to start us off. Go. You're doing it wrong. Where's the passion? The feeling? <laughs> you can't just throw up your spirit fingers and have no spirit. I guess normally my dance partner is a girl. JJ. Normally my dance partner uh, like is like they um, are a Spinner. dragon. It's like, but, it but not. <laughs> That's, I was surprised you didn't say anything about the big burns was, on my face. I was ignoring that. I don't, I don't like to bring up sensitive subjects. Right, that was very kind of you. Yeah, well. So he broke up with you too? Yeah. Oh, he yeah. said I was such a beast. Oh. He just couldn't stand me anymore. Show me that. Uh, my friend told me to come here to tell you that he doesn't want to see you anymore. And he wants to see other people. Um, Oscar wedding moment. Also, also. Is he breaking up with me through friend? I think so. Don't cry. Don't cry. I will burn your scalp off! Okay, uh. <laughs> don't, come on, don't burn the messengers. Go back! I think you're beautiful. Thank you. I think you're wonderful too. We should just find a new one. Yeah. yeah. Let's find a new one. There's one! <laughs> Baby, you can't leave me! Um, I wasn't gonna. But I saw the pancakes on the table. Everybody knows what that means. Show me that. Who oh, got pancakes? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I made you pancakes as a symbol of my love for you. Inner monologue! No, I didn't. <laughs> you confused me with your breakfasts. Yes, uh -huh. there was cereal and I almost had a meltdown. Right. Oscar winning moment. You can't keep doing this to me. I gave you my heart. This. Yeah. Do you hear it go thump thump? That's for you. I, I appreciate that. Thump, thump. Yep. <laughs> Listen. Thump, thump. Yep. I've been meaning to talk to you about your heart. It's thumping. Um, you gotta see a doctor. All right. So uh, we have the uh, Ted. Have you're gonna want to have a seat for this? Okay. You don't. No, you don't have to. When did you take off your pants? <laughs> Is it? Show me that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna want to have a seat for this. Go back. <laughs> just, just sit up. Hover yourself. Okay, so. Internal monologue. <laughs> That's uh, it's got the pretty impressive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Listen, I broke up with your dragon thing for you. Oscar, in a moment. So I need you to break up with my wife. I tried to make her pancakes and then I panicked. I panicked. Show me that. It's love. Ah! <laughs> your heart. The pancakes again. I know. The back. You need to see a doctor about the thumpity thump. Do you think I should take off my pants? Go back. I will. I need you to divorce my wife from me. I, I will. I will. I have a plan. I will pretend to be her doctor. And then I will come up with a plan. A How is that going to help you divorce my and wife? I'll say as your doctor, my advice is your heart is missing. Uh, <laughs> Welcome 
to the single support group. I knew those pancakes meant something. Please, please, We're please. We're here to help. Please lie down. They just thump and thump in the pants. Please lie down. Lie down. So we heard the doctor said you have no heart. <laughs> That's my heart right now. It sounds delicious. <laughs> Group. So, what can we support you with? I don't know, maybe a new husband who's not so into breaking up. Show me that. <laughs> so, as your doctor, it's my responsibility to tell you wait a minute, why do you have a penis? I thought you were his wife. Stank winning moment. <laughs> I think that we should go to dinner, despite my confusing parts. <laughs> uh, you also only have a couple months to live, and I don't want to have my- Waste any time. Right. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. We should get going right now. That's, no. Let me get this straight, honey. Yeah, the doctor told you that you only have two months to live? Yep, now we're married. You and the doctor. Yep, right now. You wanna be my best man? <laughs> it was his plan all along. It wasn't my it plan. It was his plan? No. That's what he said. No. I got this plan. I told her that she has a heart and a penis and doesn't Show work. me that. <laughs> you have a heart and a penis. That's all we need. Just me, you, the heart and the penis. No. That's, no. I don't take us anywhere. Oscar, any moment. Anywhere we want to go. Um, <laughs> From here to Montana, if need be. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> Dancer. Ooh! <laughs> Look at how nimble he or she is. <laughs> hey guys, I'm new here. Hey guys. Really hey. Welcome. I found Thank a divorcee. You. Well, we can go on a double well, date! Well, a double well, date! What? A double date! Show me that! label is a business. Okay. Alright. So, what do, you, what do you do for a living? Oh, I, uh, I, I, I buy and sell. Sorry, I just, I just <coughs> burned you up all your food. Cat supplies. Sorry. Dragon breath. You? Cat, cat supplies? It's yeah, you know, I, there's a lot of people interested in the comings and goings of the feline world. Show me that. <laughs> so, my cat. Yes. Starting an uprising. Oh, interesting. I have a cream for that. You're going to have to apply it to his or her rectal area twice a day. And once to his mouth or her mouth. Come back. Depending. Come back. <laughs> See, it helps. I got... With Are the you uprising. sure talked about the uprising of the, the political uprising? Oh, you mean a political uprising? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I have some pamphlets. Is it serious, Doc? The Oscar Wayne moment. This one I looks good for my dinner. <laughs> we live in America, you understand? <laughs> and as Americans, we have a right and a duty to vote in the upcoming election. <laughs> Todd Rokita. <laughs> District, whatever we are. Come back. I couldn't wait until the end of the oh. night. I already ate him. Excuse me, Sida. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, no, uh. Thinking about children. I. Uh, you don't even have. Get a bottle up. I could just say, no, I'm not interested in you, but he, she is so forceful, she doesn't, she, I don't even think she could physically have children, even if she wasn't going to die in a couple months. Congratulations, we're pregnant. How? Congratulations. Right. Congratulations. You're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been waiting forever for you to get here. Finally died. Yeah, I got eaten by a dragon. 
Yeah, I, uh, well, you know, on a date, stress, no stress of lovemaking sometimes oh. <laughs> exacerbates. Uh, what's your baits? Exacerbates. <laughs> this is heaven. I know, get your mind out of the gutter. Get your whatever out of the gutter. <laughs> I left that back down on earth. <laughs> so anyway, um, I've been waiting a long time. There's pool and God's over there. What are these? <laughs> oh, those, are, those are rum balls. Your choice. Oh, those are uh, Pilates mats. <laughs> well, They're complimentary. Heaven's it's really got a, a nice trap. package. Oscar, wait a moment. Please don't talk about packages. <laughs> I spent four years married to you. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it again. <laughs> then why? Why did you make me pancakes? Oh yeah, I'm, I made you pancakes this morning. Um, they're made out of clouds. It's the only thing we have around here. Um, and love. Oh wow. I want to try again. There's no hearts in the feel. Felt. Felt. That is really intense. Yeah. They, they replaced my heart with a with the drama. <laughs> He, she died and left me with a baby. <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> Stop thinking about baby things. <laughs> it's very unfortunate that we're attracted to our food source. We're so lonely and so hungry and so hungry. Should we go? Should we go vegan? I'll be back in a moment. That sounds like a a very ethical choice. It <laughs> It'll save the planet. And we'll find we'll find some. We'll find love. We'll find love, and we won't eat it. Hi. Hi. We won't eat you. I promise. Oh, okay. We just okay. we're That's, vegan. We just want to love you. <laughs> Really, vegans. Mm. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to, to invite you to the International Pretentious Society. And I hope you all brought your complimentary berets. Um, you should have received those in the mail. Okay, um, so the rules are vegan, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Cage-free eggs. If you're gonna go eggs, which I don't even know, they do cast a shadow, so that's... It's in the gray area. They have and a face? With marker. And NPR only, please. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, sorry, I'm oh. late. I was I too... Him. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm late. I was too busy reading Dickens. <laughs> 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 that was a joke, right? Did he? Yeah. All right. Yeah, hey. Just. They look good. Anything. They do look good. Oh, do you want to be our mate? Good choice. Do you want to be our food? Good choice. Do you want to be our children? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm gay. <laughs> See. <laughs> game, we need some audience participation. This is all of your favorite parts. So I need two people. I need two people. We have one. We have one. Come on up here. Woo! We have two. We have two. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. I you raised your hand. I saw it. Come on. Come on. Let's give him a hand, you guys. Woo! Okay. Take your time. Take your time. Don't trip. Don't. Be careful. The last stairs. Okay, that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah! 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 Okay, so what are y'all's names? Marshall. Marshall. Sangha. Sangha. Okay, so we have Marshall and we have Sangha. And so for this scene, you guys are going to be our word banks. So we're going to have Mike and Tim do a scene together. And when they go like this, you're going to be 
Put it back there. Whenever they go like this, you're gonna give them a word. You're here over here. You're over there. You stay there. All right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a scene based off of a suggestion. So can get I can. It's been a long night, you guys. Okay, cool. Can I have a suggestion of your ideal last meal? Uh, lasagna. Lasagna. Louder, louder, louder. I heard cotton candy. I heard cotton candy from something. Oh, I like cotton candy, so I'm going with it. Alright, so y'all's suggestion is cotton candy. Remember, give them words. Ready? Go. Come over here, sport. I'm making up some cotton candy. My mom said I'm not supposed to talk to Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you guess my name, boy? Well, that's downright toothpaste. Toothpaste. <laughs> I just I. Which is the secret flavor of the month? <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> Gobble it up. <laughs> Come back next week. We'll have a. Uh, Radioactive. It's a new flavor I'm trying out. <laughs> yeah, it's making my uh, cat tongue. Cat tongue. Uh, it's making it like a normal tongue. <laughs> That's good. Now when I, you look, should feel, go feel it. Oh, it's very drumsticky. Drumsticky. It's drumsticky. It's it's too drumsticky, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. You should go see the, uh, the artery. The artery. Yeah. So, over there. <laughs> this is the weirdest circus I've ever been to. And I, I've been to circuses in... Uh, Cotton, Tennessee. <laughs> something, Tennessee. I grew up in something, Tennessee. <laughs> My mama told me, never trust a man from... Pennsylvania, and I, I swear you're I, from Pennsylvania. I take offense to that. I was born in Pennsylvania. Uh, I knew it! You're right. Sir, I challenge you to a duel. <clears throat> and the weapons I choose... Tree trunk. Tree trunk. Well, I'm gonna bring my... My shoe. I already got it. Boy, you made me drop my shoe. Hold on, hang on. Oh, no, stop it. Stop it. Just let me, Ma, I didn't untie it before I took it off. I don't think it's going to fit back on. <laughs> Dang it. <coughs> Give me, will you hand me my, my, bun. hand me my bun. <laughs> hand me my bun. I need my, my bun, boy. <coughs> hey, thank you. It's... Oh, right. This well, I'm starting to understand why my mom said never to talk to Christopher Columbus. I feel... Stanky. Stink! <laughs> stanky and... Stanky. Dirty. Dirty. And... And, 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 and... Fluffy. fluffy. That's it! I stanky, don't, dirty, fluffy! Ah. I don't feel fluffy, Christopher Columbus. I feel... Flamboyant. I feel flamboyant. <laughs> Okay? I, I knew you were from Pennsylvania. And I feel pretty <laughs> and witty and, and fl flee. And flee. flee. <laughs> so flee. Get out of here. <laughs> Go! This is my stand. Go! You're it's in my stand. My stand now, Christopher Columbus! And we're gonna have normal flavor cotton candy, not toothpaste and radioactive! We're gonna have blue raspberry! And we're gonna have and a Strawberry and sugar free. And sugar, get out of here. <laughs> sugar free. Milk. 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 So, thank you all for coming tonight. Remember to donate whatever you can to Riley's Children's Hospital. That's what it's all about. And we have been at Liberation with myself, Sammy. I'm Mike. Rachel, Katie. I'm Tim. Matt. And we have been out of liberation. We have auditions the 23rd and 26th. We have little flyers on the back table. And check us out on Facebook, Twitter, other things on the internet. Our and internet that's our show. Thanks for coming. Woo!